All eyes are on Thursday's NFL Draft, and hope is to bring on key players to turn around the Jacksonville Jaguars' fortunes. After all, they've only had one winning season in the past 14 years. But the Jags are about much more than just football to this city. They're also about turning around downtown Jacksonville's fortunes. In an interview you'll only see on four, I talked with Jaguars president Mark Lamping to get an update about Shad Khan's investment in the city and what projects the team's owner might be drafting in the future. Brian Kilmeade from Fox & Friends recently said Jacksonville is a mess. Considering Jags owner Shad Khan's investment in the city, you would think the Jaguars front office was a bit taken aback by that. But Jaguars president Mark Lamping takes things like that with a grain of salt. Well, I guess it's sort of interesting coming from someone who has a home in Jacksonville, in Bryan, that's beside the point. I think I'd probably point him to a story this weekend in the Wall Street Journal that focused on Jacksonville being in the top five cities in the country in terms of job growth, you know, behind cities like Austin, Nashville, Salt Lake City. That's where Jacksonville is today, top five in the country. And we were 30th not, uh, not more than two or three years ago. And we've made this steady climb and, you know, look, I, I love Jacksonville. His focus is on the fact that this is one of the fastest growing metropolitan cities in the country. The city and Shad Khan entered into a quarter of a billion dollar deal that includes a sports performance complex. Work is underway northwest of the bank. The state of the art facility will ultimately house team offices, an equipment room, weight training and medical facilities. There'll also be an indoor practice field, two outdoor natural grass fields with about 2,300 bleacher seats, a team store, and concession facilities. If things move on schedule, they could be up and running by the start of the 2023 season. And there's Shad Khan's $321 million plan to bring a luxury hotel, a Four Seasons Hotel anchored project, on the former Metro Park site. That deal moved closer to breaking ground earlier this month when the Department of Environmental Protection agreed to lift certain restrictions. So the Jaguars approached the NFL draft with hopes of attracting players that improve the team's performance, right? Well, I was wondering, if they had a development draft, what kind of projects would they ideally like to help the city improve its future? Well, I think it would be something that would really boost the, uh, the tourism economy. You know, Jacksonville has a lot of infrastructure for people that live here, a lot of infrastructure for people that work downtown. I think we could use a major, major tourist attraction, whatever that might be. We certainly have a lot of people that travel to Jacksonville for events and they come here to the sports complex, that's where most of the events occur. But in terms of having a world-class museum, a, a world-class piece of public art, something that would define this community and be something that those thousands and thousands of people that drive through Jacksonville on Highway 95 would be motivated to actually get off the, get off the highway and check it out. Mark Lampig and I also talked about plans to renovate the stadium. Jack's lease with the city runs out in 2029, and he said they're making progress and working on plans. We actually started developing the partnership two years ago. So I asked him how long before an actual pitch is made. His answer, it's hard to say because he's still not sure exactly what they're going to build.